Also tonight, underpaid and underappreciated. Just two words being used in a report on employee satisfaction in Virginia Beach. And that's coming from the men and women whose job it is to serve and protect. For a couple of years now, we've been tracking these reports put out by the city. The problem, the comments aren't changing much. So we went right to the chief for answers. Turn on your side's Jason Marks now with more on this scathing survey, Jason. Anita, the comment portion of this survey is 50 pages long. There are some positive comments, but mostly negative, and that has the union looking for new ways to make changes. He's probably right by my head, man. I can't tell if I was hit or not. This is the latest way the Virginia Beach Police Benevolent Association is getting its point across to city leaders. Underpaid, understaffed, and underappreciated. Police say it's time for a change. We wanted to get our message across. The video just happened to come back the same time as the latest citywide employee survey. Police officers once again showed unhappy they were. One officer wrote, quote, command staff has no ethics and values. Another said, leaders in my department don't practice what they preach. When you are the line operational officer, and believe it or not, I was a line operational officer at one time, you view the world differently than upper command views the world. So we're going to begin to work through a lot of that. Chief Jim Severa says he understands the officer's frustrations and is going to focus on better communicating with staff. I have my style of communicating, but for a younger officer, maybe it's different. All leaders should lead by example, and that does not seem to be the case. It's those kind of comments the union hears all the time. It wasn't a surprise. These were things that I'm hearing um, in face-to-face -face conversations day to day. The union believes command staff can do better. I think there needs to be more communication and more um, transparency in what is occurring at the upper levels. Officers hope this video will lead to better things behind the badge. And the chief told me the department has spent more than $3 million over the last couple years improving equipment for officers. Severa says he's working with focus groups now to help find solutions. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Jason, thank you.